too. So I definitely have the worst one if we're talking between you and me, right? <laughs> I mean, so uh, I'm a lot unlike you guys because I don't have the beautiful vulnerability to talk about um, shit that happens to me. So I'm here making jokes about it. So ha ha ha. <laughs> Let's start laughing. <laughs> Noted. And I guess that's young, supposedly. Who is anybody about my age? Are you Whoa. dating? Who's dating? Okay, alright. <laughs> Give a shout out. Uh, who here is dating? <laughs> oh, I would. Nice. <laughs> Show! What's going on? I guess everybody is wiped up. I guess that's how it is these days. That's what the market is like. Um, I myself am dating and. <laughs> Washed up. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, like in all of my dating profiles, you can actually see how tired I am. I used to wake up in the mornings and I'd be like, "Carpe diem, carpe dick." Like <laughs> I was on it. And now, like if you look at my dating profiles, you can actually see the progression of how tired I've gotten over time. Like, like from Tinder to Bumble to Hinge. My shoulders are hunched over. <laughs> like you can see my eye bags deepening. By the end of my hinge profile, you're like, she has seen some shit. And it's true, because I have seen some shit. And I've heard some shit. You know why? Guys say really dumb shit. <laughs> Who's had some food in here? <laughs> Pause. Um, any women of color in the audience? Hello. Any babes? Come on, ladies, let's go. Come on. Um, spoiler alert, you know who says the dumbest shit? White guys say the dumbest shit, unfortunately. And um, I've noticed that the last three white guys I've dated have all called me a different food item. For some reason, what's up with that? Like, that's so weird. So, so the first guy, um, chocolate. That's what I got called, right? That's sort of like your starter package to being slightly racist to your partner and getting away with it, I guess. Uh, second guy, <laughs> caramel milkshake. It's a little more specific. Um, it's like something you can actually order on a menu. I was like, oh, here's things for you. <laughs> Tandoori chicken. Oh. Oh. Guys, this is my life! <laughs> Are you kidding you? You call me tandoori chicken. What about me reminds you of tandoori chicken other than being blatantly racist, right? Like, at least the other ones are sweet, you know? I mean, do you think that going to a curry house and having sex with me are like a similar experience for you? Because that's kind of disgusting. And I just wonder, like, if someone's gonna fetishize me, if someone's gonna, like, project their colonizer's fantasy on me, I want it to be the whole package. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want, I don't want you to be like, oh, I kind of like the fact that you're brown, blah. I want it to be like the whole thing. So, I did a little experiment. The last white guy that I had sex with that was fetishizing me, we were getting into it. He was calling me tandoori chicken and all that shit. <laughs> Do you consent to this?
You're fucking so good. Because I want to do the accent. <laughs> if you're going to have sex with me and fetishize me, why don't men want to hear my Indian accent? That's what I don't get. And I look down to see if this is all. me in the audience, please go ahead, but um, today is about vaginas, so instead I'm going to go to the back and get a sex toy, so thank you all.